CLDC Assignment 2011. The assignment is based on basic cryptographic concepts and encrypting algorithms. Group members DIT 09Z100002 P. Sharmila, DIT 09Z100002 C. W. Hemachandra, DIT 09Z100036 A. S. R. Fernando, DIT 09Z100057 L. S. R. A. De Silva, DIT 09Z10106 P. T. Z. Pires, DIT 09Z10106 one double one WSVP Pereira. Do you think about your privacy when you use your credit card online? Do you disclose your personal information online? Do you know what an IP address is and that anyone can pinpoint your location using it? Why all the questions? Because every day you use the internet, you are giving away important information about yourself. Information that could be exploited, disclosed, distributed and used against you. It may not have happened yet, but you can avoid it happening now. Why do we need security for our information? Leakage of one single data can be resulted in an expose of your privacy. Why should we bother about information security? 1,596 million internet users, 200 million on Facebook and other social networks, most of them use their real name and information. Have you thought about the consequences? History Early stages Cryptographic concepts has been used since early stages as an evidence of this usage. The Dancing Men scenario taken from Arthur Conan Doyle's The Adventure of Dancing Men can be shown. Each symbol shown in the figure represent an assigned unique letter. By Converting the symbols into letters, the hidden meaning of the message can be discovered. Internet has begun to be used for serious applications. The information being exchanged via Internet may be sensitive or valuable data. This data may include the contents of email messages, the contents of web pages, and the information entered on a web form. The people communicate via internet may experience various security threats. Therefore, in order to avoid and to be protected, security services has to be used. At these circumstances, the need of cryptographic concepts comes into action. Encryption algorithms plays a major part of the cryptographic concepts. Let's discuss how your information security is violated. The diagram explains how your information privacy is violated by an intruder. There are two types of intruders, passive intruder and active intruder. Passive intruder simply watch the communication, whereas the active intruder actively intercept the communication. The intruder can harm your data in four ways. These security attacks are interruption, interception, modification and fabrication. Interruption. At this circumstance, the intruder intercept in the middle and stop communication. This is an attack on availability and the intruder is an active intruder. Interception. Intruder intercept in the middle of the activity and view the message. This is an attack on confidentiality and a passive intruder is responsible. An active intruder intercept in the middle and modify the message. This is an attack on integrity. Fabrication Intruder fabricate a message and send pretending as the sender. This is an attack on authenticity and an active intruder is responsible for the attack. 
How can we avoid these types of intruder attacks? The solution is security services. There are six types of security services available. Confidentiality, Authentication, Integrity, Non-Repudiation, Availability and Access Control. Authentication Authentication ensures that the message will be delivered to the receiver without being modified in the middle by the intruder. Confidentiality Through confidentiality, the message will be transferred from sender to the receiver without being viewed by intruders. Integrity Integrity assures the receiver confidence. The receiver can identify the actual sender. Non-repudiation When non-repudiation is available, the sender and the receiver cannot deny that he sent or received the message. This feature is useful when doing cash and credit card related transactions. Availability Availability assures that the computer resources are available to the users when needed. Access control. Access to various resources should be in a controlled manner. This feature is achieved through access control. Characteristics of cryptographic algorithms. Strong, open, key oriented. Classification of cryptographic algorithms. There is no specific classification for cryptographic algorithms, but for illustration purposes, it can be classified mainly as ciphers and authenticators. Ciphers can be divided as symmetric and asymmetric. Examples for symmetric algorithms are IDEA and RC6. For asymmetric algorithms, the example is RSA. Cryptographic terminologies. Most important concept behind network security is encryption. There are two forms of encryption. Private key, also known as symmetric key. Here, a single key shared by the sender and the receiver. The second type is public key, also known as asymmetric key. In this scenario, separate keys for sender and receiver are used. Typical flow of encryption methodology. Once the sender sends a message, it is being transformed into an encrypted message using encryption algorithms and it is transferred via a channel or a public network. The intruder resides in the public network may monitor the communication, but the intruder cannot understand the content as it is being encrypted. At the receiver end, this message will be decrypted using a decryption algorithm. The key used for encryption and decryption can be obtained by the certifying authority. Certifying authority is shown in the figure as trusted third party. Let us now discuss about symmetric key cryptography. The basic ingredients of this scheme are plain text. This is the message to be encrypted, the actual message which has a meaning. Secret key. Secret key is the key shared among the two parties, the key which is used for encryption and decryption. Ciphertext. Ciphertext means the message after being encrypted. Encryption algorithm. Encryption algorithm uses the plain text and the secret key to encrypt the message. Decryption algorithm. Decryption algorithm uses ciphertext and the secret key to decrypt the message. Security of symmetric key cryptography depends on the secrecy of the key used and it does not depend on the secrecy of the algorithm. The assumptions that we make at this scenario are Algorithms for encryption or decryption are known to the public 
keys used are kept secret and can be obtained by the certifying authority. Let's see the illustration. Suppose sender wants to send a message. Let's say the message is SLIIT. The message SLIIT is encrypted using an encryption algorithm and a shared key. The encrypted message is now can be read as VOLLW which has no meaning. This encrypted message is transferred via the channel. At the receiver end it is decrypted using a decryption algorithm and the shared key. Again the message is converted back to the normal text SLIIT which has the meaning. Classical techniques used in symmetric key encryption. These techniques fall under two categories. Substitution ciphers. Each letter or group of letters of the plain text are replaced by some other letter or group of letters to obtain the cipher text. Transposition ciphers. Letters of the plain text are permuted in some form. An example for the substitution cipher is the example of Caesar cipher. Each letter of the alphabet is replaced by the letter three places after the alphabet. Alphabets are assumed to be wrapped around, which means the letter Z is always followed by A. Assume we have to convert the message Happy New Year to Caesar cipher so that the letters of Happy New Year would be replaced by K D S S B space Q H E Z space B H D U. This is the mathematical representation for the Caesar cipher. Even though Caesar cipher is successful to a certain extent, still there are two main drawbacks. One is for a brute force attack, it is easy to obtain the key. Two is an intruder can try out all 25 possible keys. This is the implementation of Caesar cipher algorithm in C language. In this algorithm, each letter is replaced by the letter three places after in the alphabet. Let us now compile the program and execute. As an example, when we enter SLIIT, we will be getting the output as VOLLM. So, the key used for encryption and decryption would be 3. The same example can be shown the other way around for decryption. When we enter VOLLW, we will be getting the output as SLIIT.